by my new artist here at Gallery 57 West in Annapolis, Maryland. Welcome to this amazing gallery. A special shout out to the Annapolis Art Alliance and all those who helped make this gallery so awesome. Please stop by and see all this incredible art done by all these incredible artists. The following video is a glimpse into my art and my studio, and I will see you there soon. Hi, here we are in my home in Arnold, Maryland. Welcome back. I'm going to take you downstairs to show you around my studio now. Let's go. Well, here we are. This is my studio, and this area here is where I keep all my supplies, my canvases, some of the art that I'm working on. As you can see, I have frames over here, canvases, paper storage, and this is where I keep everything. All the supplies I need for my art. And let's go on in. So here we are in my working studio area, the place where I do most of my artwork. And as you can see, it's filled with art. I have things from years of painting and collages and teaching art and there you can see my four beautiful windows that look out into my backyard and give me a lot of natural light and more works of art that I've done in various stages of printmaking and pastels and watercolor and various mixed medias over the years it's just a lot of stuff. So let's now get to work. So here's my working table, and it's time to go to work. So now I'd like to show you the process of how I created this painting of the heron, which is available at Gallery 57 West, also in print. So let's get started. Um, I would first find the center of my canvas, and then after that, I will draw a vertical and a horizontal line, and that will get me centered. Then I'll next take a piece of tracing paper and a compass and go ahead and draw in my circle for the mandala and framework, which is a matter of personal choice, however you want to show that. Um, after that, I'll just take it and trace it onto my canvas. So that's completed. And there you go. We're going to start with the background. And I'll just take a big brush and begin painting that in. And you know, I can remember as a kid, I was always having so much fun with art and I still do today. It's always a process of experimenting and, and creating new things. Now I'm going to start with a little bit of a turquoise once that red is all on there and let it dry first and go ahead and start in doing my framework. Now that we have the background completed and filled in, I get to start with my favorite part which is the embellishments and the decorative patterning and stenciling and layering other things onto it. So. I love the stage of it, um, and I get my inspiration from Gustav Klimt. And my work is a faux finisher, so I've, I've done a lot of these textured backgrounds. I love the triptychs and the symbolism of the, the sacred yantra and mandala in art. It kind of creates a beautiful framework for my work. And when I get to this stage of the painting, I let my intuition and spirit guide my brushes, and this is where I really let my creativity flow. So now I've completed my painting and I'm ready to add the final stage of interest to my painting, which is, in this case, I'm going to use some gold screen, which I really love to use because it adds a really nice touch. So I'm going to use my tracing paper and lay my gold screen over it and use a Sharpie to outline. All right. And then once we've done that, we want to take some glue. I use Eileen's tacky glue. It sticks, makes everything stick really nicely. And I stick that on there. And once I've done that, then I have something that looks similar to this, which is creates a beautiful framework for whatever art and, and symbolism you'd like to use. And 
here are some of my examples, my recent examples of some things that I've begun, and some that are finished of the gantras and mandalas. And so now you're ready to create your own little mandala. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope to see you at Gallery 57 West. Bye.